Greetings everyone, Free here. Welcome to the demo hub. In today's demo, we're going to take a look at Replit. Replit is a platform that helps with collaborative development online. It's a browser-based uh, development uh, environment. In the technology space, we're seeing this push from uh, thick clients you have to install on your machine on-prem to do development to more SaaS type applications to facilitate the development across teams and collaboration. Replit has quite a bit of a user base and supports a number of languages. There is CodePen that would be competing in this space. There is CodeChef, there is uh, Gitpod and CodeSpaces and VS Code the Dev. So it's a very rich ecosystem we're seeing for tools and platforms that allows you to do development from the browser so you don't have to install IDEs and thick clients on your machine. That said, let's jump in into Replit. We're going to see the tool, orient yourself around the capabilities, as well as looking at some options for writing code. Actually, we're going to be writing some code with Streamlit and also some code with building a web app, leveraging uh, Replit to see what that experience looks like. So let's uh, go ahead and log in. Once you log in, you're going to be brought to a screen like this. Uh, there is the options for selecting your experience level, either as a non-developers all the way to expert programmers. For now, let's start with the beginner. Take this. The beauty about this is it does give you some courses for learning. If you want to leverage uh, Replit as a platform for learning, there is definitely that opportunity. In here, you can start learning uh, 100 days of code for beginners. This could be very relevant. Uh, start this course is going to take you through the tutorials and, and some working exercises you can perform. But for us, we're not going to be learning. Let's go ahead and look at the, the UI. On the left side here is a home page. There are templates you can use for different languages. There is a community uh, section as well for collaboration, learning. If you're looking to learn, this definitely provides a, a platform for that. You can build teams as well as curriculums to follow to level up your competencies. Now let's go back into home and create our very first app. There are options to do Python, Node.js, or C, uh, C++. Your typical languages are all available in here. Flask, uh, Scala, you name it. So selecting the language you want. For us today, we're going to be looking at Python. And let's give this a name, Demo Hub. So our project would be public, you can certainly make that private with some billing options. Takes a few seconds and the project should be created. Project has been created. Here's the welcome screen. We can go ahead and cancel that. Like with any Python code, if you come in, do a hello world, we should be able to print this on the screen. So this is your full fleshed development uh, IDE right here running in the browser. I have nothing installed for this to work. On the left side, I can see my files, the main file, main.py, or we can add more files. We can create folders. I'm a big fan of folders for organizing things. There is the ability to connect to your version control, Git. So let's go ahead and create a Git repo. It's going to take a while for that to run. You can install packages, the packages you need for your code to run. I do have a few in there already, Flask, NumPy, Replit, quite a bit of packages. Things can be secured here for secrets. If you're going to be putting passwords and all of that, you want to make sure those are secure. Here's a debugger for stepping through your code. Replit does come with a database where you can do key value pair store, leveraging the database. Now, I'm not sure how robust this is, but it's definitely an option if you want to persist some data for longer terms than just having it in memory. Bringing people to collaborate on your apps and to log in, the unit testing, threads, chat, and a few more. So let's go back to our code here, which is a main.py with our simple hello world on the screen. To execute this, we're going to go ahead and run this. You see to the right here, there is a console. So this is where that code has run. And now we have our hello world. So two things that this provides. There is a console that shows the result. And then there is a shell that you can uh, interface with. So if I do an ls, you can see the files that are available within my uh, environment. Uh, here you can add more options. So files, uh, search, if you wanted a new shell, you can break that as well. Markdown, threads and chats, so all of those are available as an option. 
So let's go back into our, our code. We know this is a very basic code. Now, if I wanted to do something with Streamlit, as we promised uh, for the demo, I can go ahead and import Streamlit, which is a, a framework for developing data applications uh, on Snowflake. And so here we're going to do import Streamlit and we're just going to print on the screen again, just very basic to show the, the experience here within uh, Replit. With this, I can go ahead and run this. The dependencies will be downloaded. So it's going to take a few seconds, resolve and download the, the dependencies, Streamlit being what we need, then this code should execute. That did install all the dependencies. One thing to call out before we jump in back into the Streamlit application is the resources that are available for us to use. So you can see your CPU utilization, your run the storage available within this context. If you need more, you can certainly go ahead and power that up to get more resources. Now, going back to our Streamlit application, the way Streamlit works is uh, to actually run the Streamlit code and see that in the browser, you're going to need to do Streamlit run and the name of that code. So let's go ahead and copy this, or we can type this as well. If we go over to shell, let's clear this and do Streamlit run main.py, we should be able to execute that Streamlit code. When you run this for the very first time, it's going to act for certain options here for telemetry. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip uh, all of this. Just like that, my straight code is running. And here we now have that printed on the screen. Hello, Streamlit demo hub. So you can run uh, basic Python code, which is running the Python code. But with Streamlit, you're going to need to do the Streamlit run and the name of your file. Now I do understand that this is a very basic Streamlit example. Let's uh, execute the Streamlit code that's a little bit more exciting than just printing hello world on the screen. This is a little bit more exciting than what we had before. If you want, we can go ahead and run that. But as before, we're going to get an error because with Streamlit, you need to do Streamlit run and the name of your code. Go into a console, open up a new shell, and now we can do a Streamlit run main.py. They should run, execute that, and launch our web application for Streamlit. So here, if we move this, at the way Streamly does it, very exciting stuff. You can see the spiral is changing. This is the code that's publicly available. A source code to this will be uh, in the description below if you want to run this uh, Streamly application. From within our main.py, we're going to run a very simple web application. So this is something that you might be familiar with. If you're working with Flask, you're going to go ahead and import Flask or get a uh, Flask app putting a very simple basic route. So this is going to be our main route. If you're running this in an IDE like PyCharm or Visual Studio Code and you do app.run, this should run an app. But if we run this, not an issue, but what you will notice is you cannot access this in the browser. If I click on this, it can really take me to the browser. If I go back, I hit on this and say, open up the web view, it still will not really give me what we're looking for, which is hitting this route and printing this message for us on the screen. So for Replit, the way you're going to make this work is a couple of things. What you're going to want to do here to make this work is you're going to have to do from Replit, import web. Now, once you import web from Replit, then in here, as opposed to doing app.run, we're going to do web run, web.run, we'll specify what we want to run. In this case, it's going to be the app we want to run. Stop this. It's not going to give us any result there. With these changes, if I go ahead now and run this, now we have a web application running and it does print hello, uh, welcome to Demo Hub uh, here on uh, Replit. So lots of options uh, for you to play with this. And as we're developing, again, I always keep my eye on the resources that are available. If you need more resources, you can go ahead and power things up. You can see the pricing that's available to get more resources. So. Uh, a very uh, powerful tool to facilitate development for folks that uh, don't want to install things locally on their machine, but still want that experience for developing, be it developing uh, Python code or web applications or data applications with Streamlit connecting to Snowflake or whatever it is you're doing, uh, this could be a really great uh, option. And if you want to invite team members to as well, you can go ahead and put in team members and they could all come in uh, here to collaborate. It's interesting to call these multi-players as opposed to teams. It's almost like gamifying uh, development. So uh, pretty fascinating. But hopefully this quick demo has given you a, a gist or a taste of what uh, Replit is about. It definitely does a lot more things. 
or for one hour more on the Python side for development. But depending on your language of choice, if you're a web developer, Kotlin developer, Flask developer, or wanting to work with something like a Jupyter Notebook, again, all of those options are available here in Replit and you can uh, use it as uh, as your development uh, environment. So pretty cool, pretty slick. As always, uh, this has been through with Demo Hub. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end. If you like this or got value out of it, share it with somebody that would get value. And as always, if you have any tools or topics you want us to go in and to highlight or to surface uh, here on the Demo Hub, uh, don't hesitate to let us know. I will see what we can do in the comment section below. Again, thanks for watching. This has been through. I'll see you in the next demo. Thank <laughs> you.